Hello everyone. Welcome to Cyber Today Academy. Today we will talk about digital rights management, DRM. In this lesson we explain what is digital rights management, DRM, and why it is important in data protection. Let's start with, what is digital rights management, DRM? Digital rights management, DRM, is the use of a set of access control technologies to protect, control, and manage access to copyrighted material. This approach includes the use of technologies that limit the copying and use of copyrighted works and proprietary software. Importance of Digital Rights Management DRM DRM is becoming increasingly important with the spread of digital content through peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, torrent sites, and online piracy. It helps entertainment and media companies and authors to protect themselves from cybersecurity challenges faced by all organizations such as protecting customer data, ensuring and demonstrating compliance, enhancing operational efficiency, and preventing downtime. DRM enables musicians, authors, filmmakers, programmers, and other content creators to clarify and control what people can and cannot do with their content. It also allows them to protect their copyrighted material, protect the creative and financial investment they make in their work, and make it impossible for their media to be stolen or illegally shared. For example, they can prevent users from accessing certain assets so that they can avoid any legal issues that may come from unauthorized use. This is critical to protecting copyright and intellectual property. How Digital Rights Management DRM Works Typically DRM uses codes for prohibiting content copying or limiting the number of devices a product can be accessed from. Content creators can also use applications to restrict what users can do with their material or encrypt digital media, which can then only be accessed by anyone with the decryption key. Restrict or prevent users from editing or saving your content. Set expiry dates on media, which prevents access to users beyond that date or limits the number of times they can access it. Restrict or prevent users from sharing or forwarding your product, or content. Restrict or prevent users from printing your content. For some, the document or artwork may only be printed up to a limited number of times. Lock access only to certain IP addresses, locations, or devices. This means that if your media is only available to U.S. residents, then it will not be accessible to people in other countries. Watermark artworks and documents in order to establish ownership and identity. Methods used by DRM tools to protect materials. Digital asset management platforms allow organizations to control access to any copyrighted material. They do this in several ways, including digital watermarks, are steganographically embedded within audio or video data during production or distribution. They can be used for recording the copyright owner, the distribution chain, or identifying the purchaser of the music. They are not complete DRM mechanisms in their own right, but are used as part of a system for copyright enforcement, such as helping provide prosecution evidence for legal purposes, rather than direct technological restriction. Metadata Digital assets have metadata that enables their copyright and licensing information to be captured and monitored. This is critical to tracking licensing details of stock audio files photos, and videos to prevent unauthorized usage. License agreements. Organizations by requiring users to read and agree to their end-user license, agreement, EULA, embed codes. Content owners can also use embed codes that control how and where their media is published online. End of lesson. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video please press like and subscribe. Goodbye.